earlier growth hormone injections are started, the more effective they can be. But how would you know that your human cub needs them in the first place? Well, there are multiple reasons that growth hormones needed to boost adult height. And the most common of those is called growth hormone deficiency. This can present in a few different ways because you can either be born with it or have it acquired throughout your life because of, say, trauma or radiation exposure. So you could have an infant who was growing completely normally and then when they get to two to four years old, actually fall off with growth compared to their peers. Or there may be an older child with a high-pitched voice, thin, sparse hair, and disproportionately small hands and feet. But the threshold of concern is if they're two standard deviations below their matched peers, then they should be investigated. That's especially true because once their growth plates fuse, which happens around 14 to 15 in girls and 16 to 17 in boys, then the treatment won't add any amount to their final height. Have you heard of it? <laughs>